there we go. That's about right where I want it to be. So feel free to join in the chat. Um, ooh, that's really loud. <clears throat> Set that up. That's ready to go. And uh, welcome stream to Epic's Frightful Fridays. Today we're going to be playing Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. I have never played this game before. Um, so this will be interesting for me. Uh, I'm a pretty big fan of the uh, Lovecraftian mythoses. Mythi? Mythi? Mythos. And this is partially based on it. And this is not set up to use my gamepad. Now it's working. Off to a rocky start, I suppose. Move this a little bit closer. Potential guests on the stream texting me things. But uh, without further ado, let's get started with Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem. Actually, let's go to the options. Oh, this hotel's on. Save settings, and then card slot A. Yes. Start the game. Flesh. Bone. Bound together with the oddest magical incantation. This wretched book is where it all began so long ago. Before time. Before humanity. I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. This is not my story. Deliberating. Nor even the story of the Roivas family. <laughs> it is the story of humanity. Like it or not, believe it or not, as you will. Your perceptions will not change reality, but simply color it. Hmm. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia. Ignorant of so much, and dependent on so few. The Guardians grow restless. So call Hal Jordan. The time once again near. Whether by fate or misfortune, my family has crossed their path. And they didn't take kindly to it. That was interesting. Their attention turns to my granddaughter. For she is the last of my line. And the last hope for humanity. And yes, those green screens. Oh, I'm being thrown right into it. Oh, dearie me. Um... Oh, that was... Ah! Oh, dear. Um... Oh, okay.
Miss Alexandra Roybus? Um, yeah, who's this? This is Inspector Legrasse of the Rhode Island Police. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident with your grandfather. I'll be on the next flight out. Is that Jennifer Hale? Like I was saying, um, I want to get this in before exposition happens. Uh, you do, in fact, see the green screens pop up. That's because there's an issue with this emulator. I'm using the Dolphin emulator 4.0, uh, but this is a known issue, uh, and people are trying to fix it. I'm but until then, we have to deal with it. Sorry, guys. A pleasant trip? Um, yes, I suppose so, considering. Yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Yes, it is. Can we get this over with, please? Of course. Uh, this way. But I must warn you, it's not a pleasant sight. I'm afraid there's not much to see. The graphics on this are remarkably good for the GameCube era. Oh, shit. Miss Roybus, is that your grandfather, Edward? Yes, it's him. He's wearing our family ring. <laughs> I don't understand. Why are you showing me this? Can't you check dental records or something? What is wrong with you? That's a good question. I'm... I'm sorry. It's my job, lady. You're the only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no head. No, none of this makes sense. There's no sign Damn. of intrusion, and there was certainly a lot of force used here. I have never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the force. We have no evidence except for the body, and what's left doesn't say much. Ugh. How can it with no mouth? You better find out who did this. I'm not leaving Rhode Island until you do. That's ah, Jennifer Hale. There must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. I want answers. So do I. Wish I had some. Two weeks later. Frustrated at the incompetence of the local police. Ooh. Alex vows to uncover the truth. She decides to search the mansion, the place where. Oh, I scrolled with. Okay. The place where Edward conducted his research. Uh, if there was a tie to his past and possibly a tie to his murder, it would be here. That's not creepy at all, is it? Oh. Portraits of the Ancestral Roivas line. The Ancestral Roivas right, line the foyer walls. Their faces reveal a dark, brooding edge. There's something about each one that gives the viewer an unsettling feeling. That's an interesting sign. Is that a lock? Oh. Wooden plaque is fastened to the door, taking the place of the lock. Uh, colored sigils carved into the wood above the wide a wide slot. The slot is just wide enough to insert a narrow blade. Looks like something was here. Pardon? Not even five minutes into this game, and already I'm freaked out. I'm hoping that's just part of the music. This is where I came in, I think. Wait a minute. Oh! 
So I hear the wind if I get close to the... That's cool! Grand piano stands here, awaiting the hands of a decent musician. Fortunately, Edward never really lived up to that description. And as such, the piano fell into disuse. Oh, I can... Okay. There's just a picture of... Guy on a hill? I don't I don't know. Okay, so Oh! Uh that center one is the one that had the neural blade. Okay. Um and then there's these ones all around. Okay. Uh red beets green. That's not part of the music, that's something. Illustration features a collection of strange line designs related to each other in a cyclical manner. You need to stop. Looks like an abandoned skyscraper or something. Trees. Leaving the room. Goodbye. Okay, so left triggers run. Uh, left bumper doesn't seem to do anything. That doesn't do anything. X to Y, B, A punches. Right trigger gets stands me still. Okay. I wonder if that meant I could have hip fired. Oh, hello. Call of the mansion beckons to Alex, drawing her back to uncover the family secrets it hides. Alex will not leave till she has learned what happened to her grandfather. Whew. It is a clock. Beautiful carriage clock. The hands appear to be stuck. The clock continues to tick. With the time permanently set to 3.33. There's a key in the back of the clock, presumably for winding it. Should Alex look at the key? Yes. Picks up the dresser clock, the desk clock, and pulls the key out. However, there's something odd about the key. It isn't for winding it at all. It looks like a dresser key. Oh, neat. That's remarkably good texture quality, too. Excuse me? Something came out of my left ear. He doesn't look happy. <sighs> he has a magnificent beard. Uh, unsettling feeling. The door is locked. <laughs> 